experts puzzled by undersea quake swarm. Hundreds and hundreds of tremors are coming from unusual source off the Oregon coast. Scientists listening to underwater microphones have detected a very unusual swarm of earthquakes off central Oregon, something that often happens before a volcanic eruption, except there are no volcanoes in the area. Researchers and scientists don't know exactly what the earthquakes mean, but they could be the result of molten rock rumbling away from the recognized earthquake faults off Oregon, said Robert Deziak, a geophysicist of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and Oregon State University. There have been more than 600 earthquakes over the past 10 days in a basin 150 miles, 240 kilometers southwest of Newport, Oregon. The biggest was magnitude 5.4 and two others were more than magnitude 5.0. Oregon State University has reported. In the 17 years we've been monitoring the ocean through hydrophone recordings, we've never seen a swarm of earthquakes in an area such as this, Deziac said. The hydrophones are left over from a network the Navy used to listen for submarines during the Cold War. They routinely detect passing ships, earthquakes on the ocean bottom, and whales calling to one another. On the hydrophones, the earthquakes sound like low thunder or a low rumbling. Some of the quakes have also been detected by earthquake instruments on the land. Scientists hope to send out an OSU research ship to take water samples looking for evidence that sediment has been stirred up and chemicals that would indicate magma is moving up through the Juan de Fuca plate. Deziac said. Earthquake swarms have been reported off the Oregon coast before including an episode that occurred in 2005 along a plate boundary northwest of Astoria. The more recent swarm originates in a different area in the middle of the Juan de Fuca plate and the tremors are stronger, Deziac said. Also, the quakes have not followed the typical pattern of a major shock followed by a series of diminishing aftershocks and few have been strong enough to be felt on shore, but nonetheless the fact that it's taking place in the middle of the plate and not a boundary is very puzzling. He told the register guard in Eugene. It's something worth keeping an eye on. Yes, this is unusual. And it means something. It could be related to the pole shift. Because there are magnetic rocks in the outer core or the outer mantle of the Earth's insides. Earth's crust is made up of plates that rest on molten rock which are rubbing together. When the molten rock or magma erupts through the crust, it creates volcanoes. That can happen in the middle of a plate. When the plates lurch against each other, they create earthquakes along the edges. In this case, the Juan de Fuca plate is a small piece of crust being crushed between the Pacific plate and North America. Well, it does mean that magma is on the move. Something's going on underneath the plates, Teutonic plates. Yes, something is going on. This is a sign of something. And the polar, polar flip is coming. Well, every 500,000 years or so, scientists say, 
the magnetic poles of the earth flip or they switch. North Pole becomes the South Pole, the South Pole becomes the North Pole in some kind of way. Nobody really knows for sure. It's, it's been a long time, probably since it's happened. Anyway, the, man, the magnetic fields, they flip. Yes, this is a sign.